Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Minecraft. I have a snazzy new outfit and a new storage area, which I've been uh, building during the course of the week. In fact, it's been a time for a lot of changes. Let me just get the view correctly. There we go. Uh, we've been doing a lot of building around Spawn Town and some laying out some ideas, moving forward a few bits and pieces, uh, then just generally getting um, our homes and our, our environment sorted out. We also have a new player on the server. Um, I'm a mage, a uh, friend of Hellcat, started on the the last couple of days and is basically outplaying the lot of us, to be totally honest with you. He's a, he's a great player. Um, kind of love to see his building. And they're thinking of building. There's been a lot of that going on. I built my little storage area down there. Oh, incidentally, the lever does that. And... We've had uh, a load of new building going on. Um, let's just run around and have a quick look at some of it. A oh, little bit of lag there for some reason. Um, here we go. All right, we now have a, a pretty much completed um, tree farm there. The only space left in the middle is I want someone to put in some jungle trees. Then we've got the complete set. There's uh, acacia, birch, spruce dark oak and oak there so jungle down the middle here would be good but jungle is very very hard to farm and over here sims 3 symbiote has been building and what a building it is look at this guys yeah making use of oh, it's polished diorite a little bit of cobblestone in the corner there and lots of clay and i know she won't mind let's just have a quick pop in and have a look around if you haven't seen it on her channel she has done a oh there's no plant in there and she has done um um an episode of minecraft showing look showing off her build considering that was what the first full day she'd been playing she did one hell of a job a little kitchen area here craft benches and uh, that for cooking loads of plants around seating area with plenty of nice views you can look in the windows at spawn towers over there if you wanted to um, looks like this is going to be a living area stairs up like that touch crabbed but not bad I don't know what this is going to be but it's going to be a nice gallery area and she's got sleeping area here and done in some really really interesting colors i think i love this place it's very eclectic very fun oh there we go my mouse is breaking the ranked armies of the pumpkin warriors my mouse is breaking the rice mouth button doesn't work and i'm blaming uh, minecraft but i got i haven't got around to buying a new one yet so i'm going to put it up for it for at least one more day so there we go. That is Sims 3 Symbiote's house. If you uh, if you do YouTube, and if you don't use do do YouTube, why are you here? Go onto her channel, Sims 3 Symbiote, and have a quick look at her video. And to be totally honest, with you all the other videos she's done. She's a a veteran YouTuber with some great stuff. And here we take our lives into our hands and venture into the home of the Hell Kitty. Who has been doing? Oh, Enderman was here. Oh, creepy baby, guarding the corner, uh, guarding the entrance there. No, you can't go out. As soon as it rains, you get into trouble. Hello, creepy baby. Hello, Hell Kitty. And you can see she's done this out in what I can only really describe as early arboreal. And she's done herself out as uh, I can only describe as early kitty. It's great, really, isn't it? So, down here, really redesigned this area. It's looking, um, well, I can only describe it as early gothic. It's, oh, it's great, though, I love it. And this, this curtainy effect across it here. There's a seating area, bookshelves. Suitably pumpkin, suitably Halloweeny pumpkins, 
and the bedroom hasn't changed but that looks great and through here the kitchen through here is her storage area she's showing off her wealth of ender chests there and loads 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 of chests and that flashing by was her pet back octavian hello octavian so that's it. We've obviously got Octavian overexcited there, so let's get out while we still have a chance. Right. And you get away from the door. Thank you. And in the last of the animal news, um, those of you who saw the live stream or the videos I did of the live stream will remember Nugget. Nugget was the chicken that was over by Tenpenny Tower, so we took hold of that and brought it across here. I didn't know what to do with it, so uh, I decided that uh, it needed a home. And what better place could we have for a home than here in the Nether? So Nugget is going to be Station Master. We found him a girlfriend, and he is going to be Station Master of our new nether railway station which is along here it's just I'll just picked up some eggs of course because I've walked past chickens and the beginning of the railway station across here so uh <laughs> yes um, that goes off uh, at about 800 uh, squares to a train station to the north which by some strange coincidence is right by a mesa and we're gonna put off Cut train stations in all the cardinal directions eventually and design this a hell of a lot better than it is because it's pretty ugly right now but uh, that is a future project and as I get accused of never finishing what I started let's go and actually finish something we started the other day so we should take these eggs back through to the real world and then set them free and by set them free I mean fire them in the air and then we shall finish off clucking good chicken Be, right, be free, young eggs. Be free. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Right, clucking good chicken. As you can see, it's changed a little bit. I decided I didn't really like the orange that much. Um, it looked horribly gaudy, which was what I set out to do, but it was the wrong sort of horribly gaudy. And as we just discovered a mesa, um, we picked up a load of red clay thanks to uh, the Hell Kitty for. Um, some help, support, lots and lots of digging, trying harder than me, you know, because you know, I was just there in a supervisory role. The other thing I did was um, I had having a quick look at uh, these tables here, and originally I made one big table with uh, chairs going around it, but I decided that uh, that didn't quite look right, so I, I changed the design to these, and I think they look much much better and also it goes more with the colors but I have left the orange down here because I thought yeah a little bit of contrast wouldn't hurt but the other thing I have a bit of a problem with is what to do with the roof yep there we go broken mouse button that's really driving me up the wall okay so this roof area isn't quite right and I also need to build it up at the back there to cover the chicken factory so there's two jobs we need to do here and what I was thinking was perhaps if we put some stairs up um, onto the top floor we could put some seating up there it's uh... Yeah. Whoa. alright uh, number 457 times that I've fallen into that pig in moat there so yeah ha 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 yourself uh, so let's put some stairs up to the top there, and I think if we take that light out, we should be able to build them up quite nicely. Um, and build them up there. Yeah, let's build them up there. Okay, like that. Um, I do want to put a little bit of light in here before I build around this anyway, so let's just light this up a touch. Because the last thing I want is a creeper or something to spawn in there. Uh, it's relatively lit up, but a touch more when it hurt. Alright, okay, like that. So what we'll do is 
just going to take out this area here. Right. Oh, that's not quite what I had in mind. Actually, I wanted this one here. And I can't do that either because of the mechanism there. Mm. Right. Okay. So let's do it. Oh, what the heck. Let's, let's lose a set of, uh, of ch chairs there. So it's not a great loss. So we'll take those two out there. Fortunately, that means we're going to have to lose a plant like that. But again, that's all right. So people will come through here and we'll have our mystical seating area up the top there. And by some strange coincidence, we can start off with a set of quartz stairs there. And those blocks can go back. So... Uh, so we got two there, and we have a platform, and then we go up. Yeah, if we go up to, so we have a platform like that, and this goes up. Three, and then we can go onto the roof that way. Yeah, that works, doesn't it? And we'll design around it, and we yeah. That does mean, no, actually we're all right there as well, thinking about it, because we'll just red block like that. Yep, I think that'll work. Okay, so let's have, hmm, there's a thought. I've never tried that. Can you make clay stairs? Let's have a quick look. If not, it's going to be quartz stairs. Like that. Come on. Like that. No, you can't make. Okay, so it's quartz stairs, it is. Right, so let's just make some quartz quickly. And don't need many more stairs. In fact, that will probably do the trick. There we go. I don't have a huge amount of quartz left, and I haven't had much time to go out into the nether, so... Um, oh, wrong one. If I run out of quartz, I'm going to have to uh, steal it off a of Hellcat, and that involves... There you see, that involves having to be grateful to her. It's just not worth it. It's just not worth it at all. Uh, and in case you're wondering, yes, she is listening into the conversation. And I got that staring slightly wrong. Let's get that out of the way. So we want a stair like that. We'll back that up with some redstone clay and a stair like that. And a stair like that. There we go. And that will take us on to this, uh, this seating area. The edge doesn't quite work anymore there, but that's not a problem. We'll take that out in a minute. Let's just um, wall this in nicely. So uh, it's going to be oh, wrong sort of quartz. Of course, silly me. All right, let's just take some quartz here. Let's do this wall quickly. So uh, quartz, it's there. Clay, quartz. Red clay, quartz. Red clay, quartz. Guess what I'm going to say next. That's right. Red clay. Alright. Um, nearly there. Let's just get one more level in. And we also need to think about what to do down here. So... Well, first of all, we don't actually need to do much in the way of colourful blocks here. So let's not do much in the way of colourful blocks here. Let's just fill this in a little bit. Nobody's ever going to see it because it's a maintenance area. And then on top of that, we can have red clay. Quartz. Hmm, 
need to change that a little bit, I think. But we can do that quite easily. Let's uh, just get this, this last level in. So that's going to be quartz there. Let's get these last bits in. Okay, so we're going to need to take out this cobblestone here. And there goes my pickaxe. So make another one of those quickly. And what we'll do is we'll put some red clay down there and build the redstone circuitry around it again. So what was I doing? I was making an axe. Ah, these minecrafting skills. I almost have them. Q Creeper! It's rather early in the day for it. I'll fill that in later on. Just don't tell anyone. I'll sort it out later on. So here we go. And now we can go... We can actually colour this in area in as well. So... Um, that's all red clay, so let's do some quartz. So we'll start off with quartz down here. Quartz and red clay. Quartz, oh, one too many there. Red clay and quartz and don't oh, help if I had the right thing, right thing highlighted there. So we're maintaining the, the design all the way up here, and then we need to put that uh, um, redstone back in to make sure this carries on working. So one there. There we go. Two legs were laid while we were doing that. So we're almost done here. So a bit more of this the same. I think we're actually far enough up there that we can actually just put a roof area in over there and that hides all the mechanisms okay so we then go like that Fill that in quickly, and we can just put a roofing area over that. So let's actually let's do let's start alternating those colours there. So like that, like that, like that. Quickly make some more quartz. In fact, let's might as well do both of these. Um, maintain this really tasteful design all the way across you know, brand recognition is an important thing kids yeah that's good so let's make us sort of steps up here and then we want to be able to make just a little roofing area over the stairs I've got to be honest with you, this rice milk bus button is kind of driving me insane by the end of this. There's a small prize if you notice the difference. 
so there we go that's that covered up so now it's possible to go down here and down here that's all nice I think what we need here is a bit of light so if we say this one let's punch that hole out and we'll put um, redstone lamp in there and let's just pop around the other side doesn't exist. It's an illusion. So there's just a bit of lost quartz there and I think you put that. Will that light it? No that won't light it. But that should. There we go. So there we go, and yeah, that that's all nicely lit up now. Excellent. So little staircase put in. So what we need to do here, I think we're going to take this uh, nether brick roof out. Nobody particularly liked it, so I think it's a bit of a failed experiment. And what we'll do is we will. I'm just going to put the the rest of the flooring in here and do this wall and do these walls and then we need to think of a roof for the top so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out now and I'll come back in when this is a little bit more complete right and there we have it in all of its hideous glory we right, we feel that they've done all the outside and you know it's yeah, that's that side's not too bad. The inside, the, the well, the back here is a touch boring, I think. But we'll build something else here, or perhaps put something up to break up the pattern a little bit. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, we're certainly going to be building down here. I'm going to be extending the road down this way fairly soon. All this area is going to be up for building, and hopefully, we'll get some fun stuff there. But, yeah, this is done. This door will probably change. While we were um, building, Hellcat had the Hell Kitty had a great idea, which was to change um, the flooring here. And these are red mushroom blocks that have been silk touched off of a giant red mushroom. And I think it's just a great extra bit of pattern there, isn't it? It's uh, absolutely brilliant. Um, put some lighting in to get rid of the torches, just some glowstone, throws down a lot of really nice light, looks great I think. So we've got just brings us to up here and oh I never did make those, let's just make a, a few more uh, quartz slabs, yep six should just be enough and let's head back up there. That door is totally the wrong colour, but I think I'm going to leave it anyway. Let's just get a couple more in here. Like that. And then we're pretty much done. And what I'm going to do on this little raised area is I'm going to put some seating in. So we'll have that, we'll have some red carpet. We're going to make the same chairs and tables as we have um, downstairs. So, and one, and two, and one, two, one, two, one, two. And we'll stick some tables in between. Just like that, that's the table legs and tabletops on top of them in the official clucking good chicken colours. So there's that, there's that, there's that. My only worry is there's a small chance that things can spawn in between them, but if that is the case, we'll just light it up and not worry about it. So there we go. 
That is a clucking good chicken. Our free food supply. Our free feather supply. In all its hideous and colourful glory. Please let me let me know what you think, guys. Because I'd love to hear your comments. Next thing I'm doing is in here. And if you want to see what's in there, you'll have to wait until the next episode. Well, thank you very much, ladies and gents. This has been my Minecraft world. And we'll be start doing episodes of this probably every week. Where I do a build. Hopefully the next one will be a little bit more tasteful than this. Or actually thinking about what I'm going to do in there. It's not going to be. But hopefully the one after that will be a bit more tasteful. We'll have to see. Anyway, I have been Simon Parsons. This has been Minecraft. Thank you and good night. Good night.